I'm joined by Robbie Blake after watching the Rooks. Very dogged 1-0 win away to Craig Wanderers. Robbie, not the best performance, but what a win under the circumstances, really. Yeah, no, absolutely. It was... Um... We needed we needed the result and like you say it was dogged it was it wasn't pretty but unfortunately the, the run we've been on and the um, the changes we've had to make to the team um, it's been difficult for the players it's been difficult for everybody you know having to deal with the, you know the COVID situation as well these players haven't had they done anything for two weeks so for us to put a performance in like that in terms of work rate doggedness and the willingness to to, to win you know it. it Got to give credit to them because we've got a lot of young players, um, but they were dogged. They were dogged and stuck at it. And I thought, um, you know, to keep the clean sheet, they were in bed. They were quite lively up front. So, um, but like I say, nothing but respect for the team, for the players, um, the what shift they put in. Because like I said, some of them players haven't played for nearly two weeks. Yeah, well, after the <laughs> last two games, two disappointing results. But today, we would have taken. I'm sure you would have said before the game we'll take a 1-0 win, doesn't matter how we get it. Clean sheet, back winning away from home and it must give the players a confidence boost going into Horsham now on Saturday. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. We, we've got to take that and we, we, we said today that it was, it, was about, it, was, it was about the result for us and to get just, just to kickstart our season off because, listen, I can be fully right but, I, you know, I'm thinking 12 or 13 or 14 games into the season we had a chance to go top of the league with the same mm. group of players and all of a sudden... You know, for whatever reason, lack of form, lack of confidence, we've sort of slipped away a little bit. But we have, we've we got a couple of games in hand. Um, we've got to just finish the season strong and see where it takes us. And um, with, that, with that attitude and commitment and work rate, coupled if we sort our, you know, technical side out, which I think we will, um, you know, there's nothing more you can ask for than that. We'll be gone nine days without a game. That's a long time to go in this league, as obviously we know we play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So have the players been training 100%? Because I know a few of them have been off with COVID and stuff. Exactly. So we, it, it, if you've got a couple of COVID people in, whether you've got three or four, I don't think it's right to train in mm. terms of, you don't know whether some of the 10 or 12, 10 or 12 players other than that might get COVID. Yeah, it's a risk. So, it, you know, because people obviously, there's stages of COVID. It's not, you know, we had five go down straight away, but then, you know, me and Jack had conversations thinking, surely another couple will go. But luckily, you know, we managed to to, to uh, obviously stop that, which was great. The players have been great professional in terms of that. But what I would say is it's not it's not anything. Got to give them a bit of respect because we've trained once in them days. And people having COVID and people, you know, not training. You can do, you can do, of course you can go to the gym, but it's not the same tempo, it's not the same intensity as you, as you train. So the players have got to take huge credit tonight. And like you say, hopefully it's a springboard for us to get some more positive results because as you see, you know, teams come here and it's, it's, it's a difficult league. It's mm. a difficult league. Awesome. You know, you see Lewis go to Enfield and win 4 1, 5 1. You know, it's, it's, it's a, su such a difficult league. And um, we believe in these players and we believe, listen, we, we have got to get better at, in certain areas and certain times. But if they give the commitment, coupled with our ability, in my opinion, we'll be all right. Yeah, uh, just going on to Harvey White coming back into the midfield. You can see he makes that difference. He wasn't 100%, you can see, but just to give that energy in there. And he just helps out the other players. And I think there was times, at times, well, we did give the ball away tonight, but we yeah. didn't get on each other's back. No. A couple of times, Amadou maybe just had a go at the players. But all in all, there was encouragement. And coming off the Lewis game, we was frustrated after it's safe to say yeah, in the yeah, interview. Absolutely. But how good is it to see the players encouraging? I saw the bench tonight. There was no shouting. No. I saw you was waving, you was giving all the encouragement. I don't think Jack came over once. So obviously he might have been, do I, uh, he's probably in the stand. I saw you on the phone a couple of times. But that's a good sign coming off the Lewis game, yeah, yeah, isn't no, it? No, absolutely. And like you said, we had to stick together. We had to be together. And I think you've seen that. And just going back to Harvey, I thought the three centre-halves were excellent. Listen, yeah. I don't want to pick individuals no, out. Uh, but yeah. I, I just think mm. Harvey gives us that energy, gives us that little bit of experience, little bit of know-how. And like you say, that energy is, is key to us. And um, he drives us forward. And... You know, he's such a great lad, he's an infectious person off the field. And, you know, in the last, up until he got injured for the last two two months or six weeks, he was, he was I thought he was our best player by country mile. That's not taken away from anybody. No, no, 100%. Yeah. It was, it was mm. a touch and go between, for me, between Harvey and Calvin, who was our best players. And um, They both go down with injury. Yeah, so. yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. And, and people don't see that. It's not excuses, but at this level, when you lose key players, it's very difficult. 
you know, you ask anybody at, our, at teams in our level, in our division, if you lose key players in certain positions, it, it's difficult to, because you can't, you're not a football league club where you can go out and get someone on loan or you, you know, mm. it's not quick to act, you know, and it's resources and, and things like that. So, you know, listen, we're just really pleased with the performance, pleased with the result. Well, no, we're not, when I say performance, well, it was just a dogged yeah. away win, mm. which sometimes you have to do. So, we, you know, so we dust ourselves down, we hope we haven't got any injuries and then, We've got a big game on Saturday, so... Well, I've got a quick question. Some of the fans have been asking. Again, you can answer it if you, if you want. You don't have to answer it. Uh, Jack was in the, in the stands tonight, and he, I think he was letting you take on a bit more of a role of manager tonight. Do you think that's something we'll be seeing more of, is you being more involved as the manager and Jack just taking a back seat a little bit and letting you do what you're doing? Nah, listen, I don't I don't think... Listen, we spoke before the game and he, he, he said some words to me, but I don't like saying that because... For me, um, you know, Jack for me is an outstanding person first and foremost. Mm. He's been he's done an incredible job for this football club. Um, what he's done for the club in terms of how you see structurally, and and what he's building, he deserves a lot of credit and a lot of respect. And I know certain situations go on, but he is a fantastic person and it, he's done an incredible job at this football club. And it's not about me taking taking more of a senior role. Um, you know, it's just we spoke before the game and he said, you know. It's, if you see fit, you do it, you know. So, um, you know, it's nice for him to give me that responsibility, but, you know, it's not about me being yeah. the manager. Jack is fully the manager. And, um, you know, like I said, I've got nothing but respect and, and, and um, you know, admiration yeah. for the guy well, because of what mm. he's done for this football club. And I think sometimes, throughout the frustrations which supporters have, because they pay the money and they, are, they have entitled to their opinion, and I've got no problem with that, but sometimes, every now and then, it's, it's nice to appreciate and respect somebody who's been at this club for that long and, and done what he's done for the football club. Well, all of us on the way here, and I, I don't think any <laughs> fan would slate Jack for what he's done for the yeah, club. No, absolutely. Because we just wanted I to know... That yeah, as, yeah, know, yeah, I yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah, yeah. I, I just people. wanted to know if maybe that's something that you've discussed in taking a back seat. But we're just going on to the Jake Flanagan and Calvin. I know they was at training on Monday. They're not quite right yet to play. Is no. there any update on them? No, we, no, no, we don't. We don't we, it, it's not me try to not give no information yeah, it's yeah, just, just the fact that we don't really know Pete and it, it, because it's it's like a, it's a knee injury in terms of we just don't know how long they're going to be in, and, and where it is at and we, it could be a week it could mm. be three weeks it could be longer we don't know and we just got to take that in the next couple of days and and see where we go with it but listen the two key players for us like everybody you know everybody it's a team game and it's it's a squad game sorry and um we got players like you say. The bench was really positive, you know, shouting and encouraging. Mm. And Kane come on, had a great chance. Thought he was going to score, but you know that's what we want. We want people chopping at the bit and pushing these players that are playing. That game, I, I said it in commentary, reminded me just like the Cheshunt away game. Absolutely, and it and was just like that away game. Them. Yeah, we mm. wouldn't normally win them, so you have to have stale determination and a bit of grit. And we had that tonight. Listen, we didn't have a lot of quality in, in terms of. Although the, I thought the goal many chances thought, our goal so our goal was the only shot we had on target yeah, in the second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to say that to you on, on radio. No, but <laughs> I'm joking. It doesn't matter. No, mate, I'm joking because we got the goal and yeah, it was no, a cracking ball by Ethan. Great finish, yeah. great finish, and cracking great ball by great Ethan. Great. And yeah. I'm, I know I, I did see it is frustrating. He did give the ball away a couple of times, but Ethan, I thought done well overall. Fantastic ball. Every, and everyone done well. Pete. That, you know, it was yeah. it was a team performance in terms of dogged. That's yeah. the word you use. It could have yeah. Uh, our player of the match could have gone to any of the back five. Yeah. Could've, it could have gone to anyone. We yeah. gave it to Gifford, uh, Dan Gifford, yeah, no because problem. of his work rate and he's got the goal. But yeah. Amadou kept you in it again. Yeah. It's just all yeah, in all. When you come away from home, mm. Pete, you have to have your keeper being good, making big decisions, making big saves. We had that with Amadou. We've had that a lot with Amadou, haven't we? So, you know, like you say, it, it, confidence, when it's dented, you look for anything, you know, a ball off a knee, an on goal, a penalty. You just need that win, and hopefully that lifts players. Because it doesn't matter, it plays. They're all, we're all human, you know, it, and it affects you, and it affects your way of thinking, your thought process, your confidence. And what we have got to do is dust ourselves down and go. Well done, Nath. Nath, well done, son. All right, see you Saturday. See you Saturday. Yeah, good lad. We'll go again Saturday. Eh? Yeah. And um, you know, and that's what it's all about. We, we got, to, we got to have it. And we've got to have that confidence and we got and it's up to me and Jack to instill that confidence. But it's got to come from the players as well. well so once they step yeah. over the white line, it's their responsibility. Like I go back to it. We had a team not long ago that had a chance to go top of the league and with the same group of players. So mm. I don't think they're that bad and I don't think there's that much wrong. You know, it's fine margin, you know. I'm not saying for one minute Lewis were better than us because they were. But Nathan has a great save, great shot saved. 
they go up the pitch after it and scored a great goal. Mm. And that was the way it going. And then we were down to 10 men, it was tough. But listen, these players are giving it all. And, you know, I'd like to thank the supporters again coming out. Um, it's very cold and, you know, the pay. And all we're trying to do is make sure that they're proud of what we're doing and we're working hard and we're trying to give our all. Well, the main thing is we can see that, Robbie. As fans, we can see we're working hard. On to Saturday we go. I'll let you go and, and, and you can go and get in a warm and get back. But we'll see you on Saturday against Horsham. Another massive game. Absolutely. Cheers, massive Robbie. game. Top man, Pete. Cheers, Cheers mate. Bye-bye.